Hi YouTube, it's Jake Chason here, and today we are going to look at the Swift Playgrounds app for iOS 10. So let's get started. So first of all, we're going to go to the Swift Playground app, and we're going to check out the Featured screen. So to all you educators out there, you know how hard it is to teach programming, especially when a school has a one-to-one -one iPad program, where they really want to integrate the iPads because they're such a great educational tool into the curriculum, but you're trying to teach computer science. Well, this app should help out a bit. The only caveat is that you do have to be teaching Swift in order to use it, but it will allow you to teach the students who have iPads how to program without having to use another desktop computer with a full-blown IDE like Xcode. So this should be pretty good because there are also lessons that Apple has created, as well as the ability for you to kind of design your own lesson plan and start with blank canvases. So from the featured screen, if we briefly just scroll through what's available, there are two lessons and two challenges. So we tap Learn to Code 1, the one they discussed WWDC, and you can see that it pops up a little modal that's similar to App Store apps. When you tap it, you don't get any bigger screenshots, but you can scroll through the various screenshots. You can tap Get to download it, and then it will download the project to the device. Then learn to code 2. This one has not been added to the app yet. Then there are two challenges, the drawing sounds, which allows you to explore programming through sound, and Blink. Blink is a life simulator. Perhaps the neatest thing though is that you can actually go to My Playgrounds, tap the plus button, and then you're given templates. And right now we'll start off with the blank. We'll tap here, and let's just do something simple. First of all, let's bring the keyboard up. We have that brand new keyboard they were talking about. If you wanted numbers, if you wanted letters, all that stuff. So let's print something. And then let's do the brackets. So I pressed into the key and pulled down until the second key's icon was in the middle of that specific key. And then I released. I'll do it again. And then let's run the code. And as you can see here, it did run and it said hello world let's add a viewer and there we go so we do know the code compiled we do know that it ran and this is going to be great because this allows you to do a little bit more advanced stuff that teachers can assign to students from a blank canvas that means that they don't have to start with one of apple's lessons the teachers have more freedom to create whatever they would like in terms of their lesson plan this still is not a full integrated development environment, or IDE, but it does come close when trying to learn the basics of programming through Swift, especially for people who have very limited to no programming experience prior to learning Swift. If we go to the plus, we can see the pop-up that comes up, and if we wanted to, let's say, drag in a for loop. So as you can see, I just went in here, tapped the icon, it popped up, I dragged into the code, I'm gonna say for i into, then we get this nice pop-up that comes up, and we'll say, let's repeat that five times, and then the code, we can say, we'll move this print statement right into the loop. As easy as that, we'll delete that little code block. Now we run the code, we can see that that ran five times, and each time it said hello world. Then we also have other objects, like images and files, and we can insert them from iCloud Drive. When we tap the three dots, we get a more pane, and that allows us to either take a picture, which is a picture of my playground, there's nothing there right now, record a movie of how the playground is working, or click help. Help gives us a very nice little subset of exactly how to work with these playgrounds. So we can click get featured playgrounds, It'll load a help screen, and then it gives us a little bit of information that we might need, complete with pictures. So we even have the ability to share the documents. You could share them with a teacher or a colleague or a friend. All you have to do is click the export button right here, and then it'll come up with this share sheet, the UI Activity View Controller. You can either add to iCloud Drive, email, do all that kind of stuff. So let's briefly demonstrate the other two types of playgrounds available from templates. So when we click on Answers, it'll bring us to a new kind, and if we click Run, it'll actually show you that a little interface pops up which allows you to put in your name. I'll put in my name is Jake, click Submit, and then it says, Hi Jake. So it allows you to run interactive things. It's kind of like the scanner class, and other types of programming languages such as Java. So let's check out the final type of the templates. That's the shapes. So when we click on shapes, it'll bring us to this canvas. Now a pretty neat thing is that when we tap on this icon right here, the one with the line and the dots, you can see there's the canvas, there's the create, and this class shows you the type of shapes that you're able to create. The touch class, 
and the animation class. So if we go back to the create class, we can see that there is a circle, a rectangle, and a line, and a text. And then when we go back to the canvas and we run it, we can see that because it says circle, it's a circle. We can drag that around. But now let's try and change circle to something like rectangle. We can see that now the circle has turned into a rectangle. We can drag that all the way around here. So this just proves that the Swift playgrounds can be a little bit more complex than just writing basic things. They can be interactive, and overall they can really help you get the basics down of the language before you move into a full IDE like Xcode and begin writing apps for iOS, macOS, Apple TV, and Apple Watch. All right, YouTube, thank you so much for watching this video on the demonstration of Swift playgrounds for iPad. I'm Jake Chason, and I'm signing off.